as I get a little older. 30 months probation, with the first 150 days to be served at Chicago's notorious Cook County Jail. Donald Trump had a monopoly on unauthorized presidential campaigns, along comes Kanye West. Uh, what's your model and style of love that you ship with the Bloomingdale's exclusive? Nominated rapper Nipsey Hussle shot and killed outside of the really broke through a barrier to the label was with Atlantic Records and Broadway Light outside the building. In my perspective, may differ from yours. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that we can have this conversation now. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick Lamar's Heart Series has been a huge staple in his catalog and the cultural movement in hip hop. The Heart Series is not just a collection of songs, it's a journey through his life and career. These introspective tracks serve as bookmarks, taking us through a deep and emotional ride through each era of his music. Each phase is a unique blend of sound, style, and message. His personal struggles and complex subjects he touches on in his songs make it easy to connect with him on a profound level. Today we're taking a deep look into the Heart Part 5. We'll see just how the synergetic story of the Heart Series comes full circle. The Heart Part 5 is the only song accompanied with a music video out of the Heart series, aside from the Heart Part 1. Directed by Dave Free and Kendrick Lamar, the music video starts with two sentences, I am all of us. One of the main themes to the Heart Part 5 is adopting multiple viewpoints. Life is perspective is even tattooed on Kendrick's right arm. In the video, Kendrick takes the appearance and perspective of six other famous black men, which is also showcased through their hands on the cover art for the song. The six men include OJ Simpson, Kanye West, Jesse Smollett, Will Smith, Kobe Bryant, and Nipsey Hussle in that order. But we'll get to that in a moment. The first sentence, I am, is the appointment of God. In Christian scripture, Jesus conveys seven I am statements. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I am the true vine. Those seven statements are representative of spiritual reassurance for people of the Christian faith and in search of a higher calling. This is the theme for his accompanying album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. The second sentence is all of us. Without an all, there can be no I and vice versa, creating an infinite loop between the two, symbolizing the essence of humanity. In the intro of the song before rapping, Kendrick speaks about how life is perspective and thanks his fans for sticking with him throughout the years. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been down with me. All my fans, all my beautiful fans. The track produced by the trio Beach Noise samples Marvin Gaye's I Want You. Using the chorus to flip the original meaning of the song, Wanting Somebody Romantically, Kendrick uses it to signify his desire for the hood to love him and respect him. The music video is separated into three acts, the past, the present, and the future. Kendrick begins the song in the past, reflecting on his past experiences with the culture. It's notable that Kendrick's face doesn't change uh, this portion of the song, signaling that he's speaking from his own perspective as the good kid in a mad city. He starts out the song saying, I come from a generation of pain will murder his minor, rebellious and more jealous a chip you for designer. Kendrick grew up in Compton, California, witnessed his first murder at just five years old. In an interview with NPR, Kendrick states, It was outside my apartment unit. A guy was out there serving his narcotics and somebody rolled up with a shotgun and blew his chest out. Immediately it does something to me right then and there. It let me know that this is not only something I'm looking at, but it's something I maybe have to get used to. With this context, Kendrick saying where murder is minor could be a double entendre, either meaning that being raised where he was, he was desensitized to death, which made him feel small or minor, or that so many of the murders were both being done and committed by the youth or minors. Continuing the double entendre theme, Kendrick goes on to say, Make the wrong turn, be your will of the will alignment, residue burn, Mister the inner city, miscommunication to keep homo detector busy. Again, talking about the violence in Compton, Kendrick describes how the difference between life and death could be only one turn away. Either from your will as a person to do no wrong, which is completely in your control, or the literal will alignment of a car, which is pretty much out of your control. This reminiscent of a line on the track, The Art of Pair Pressure from Good Kid Mad City, where he describes getting away from a police chase after a robbery. To end the verse, Kendrick raps about other things in his youth that were an unfortunate reality for him. From finding out family members were shot and killed after serving extremely long prison sentences to watching people get killed over drug deals and having to raise money for funerals by doing fundraising car washes. 
In the second verse of the track, Kendrick raps about the present, and it's here where we start to see Kendrick's face start to morph into others using deep fake technology. It begins with OJ Simpson and Kendrick states, I said I do this for my culture to let y'all know what a nigga look like in a bulletproof rover. This line is a clear old to Jay-Z song Izzo where he says, I do this for my culture to let them know what a nigga look like when a nigga in a roaster. In my opinion, this pairing of faces and lyrics was really no mistake. Jay-Z is well known for speaking out about the OJ situation on his album 444. OJ life. I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. Kendrick is basically saying while he could have riches in a Benz, to the law he's still just a nigga in a coop. I mean, after all, Kanye said it best. Even if you in a Benz, you still a nigga in a coop. Speaking of Ye, the next deep fake Kendrick morphs into is Kanye West himself. Say, friends bipolar, grab your by your pockets. No option if you froze up. I always play the offense. Kanye was officially diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2016. Kendrick could be comparing Kanye's friends to the hood or the culture, saying that they'll grab you by your pockets at any moment of weakness out of pure envy. This is all alluding to the fact that Ye's inner circle may be full of opportunists just waiting for the right moment to take advantage of his influence and mental state. Other rappers close to Kanye have expressed their concerns for this exact thing. The third deep fake Kendrick portrays himself as is Jesse Smollett. The streets got me fucked up. Y'all can miss me. I want to represent for us. Jesse fabricated a hate crime against himself in 2019. For this, he was sentenced to 150 days in jail. Jesse is someone who says they want to be a symbol for black people while at the same time profiting off of the atrocities that are a common reality for us. While this is true, this bar is a little deeper in my opinion. Kendrick could be outing himself for similar actions to the culture that he's holding Jesse accountable for. You could argue that Kendrick is benefiting from the black struggle through his art and making money from it, but at the same time not being there physically when that same struggle is in need of assistance. During the Black Lives Matter and George Floyd protests in 2020, Chicago rapper No Name brought this to attention in a tweet that was later deleted saying, poor black folks all over the country are putting their bodies on the line to protest for a collective safety. And your favorite top selling rappers are not even willing to put a treat up. Niggas whole discography be about black plight, but nowhere to be found. Many people assume that there was a message shot at J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, and this eventually led to a small back and forth between No Name and Cole. But Kendrick on the other hand remained to stay silent throughout the whole situation, instead opting to take in the criticism. Jesse Smollett's face remained as a deep fake throughout this whole bar, symbolizing not only holding Jesse accountable, but holding himself accountable for not being any better than him and feeling like a fraud in this situation. The next deep fake that appears in this video is that of rapper and actor Will Smith where Kendrick states Nah in the land where hurt people hurt more people fuck calling it culture This line is a direct parallel to the incident between Chris Rock and Will Smith at the 94th Academy Awards in 2022. Will Smith was publicly humiliated from his wife's infidelity and pretty much laughed at from the entire internet for months. After Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pickett Smith, Will decided to transfer his hurt onto Chris Rock physically. This whole situation parallels with Kendrick's plea to prove himself to the culture on the track, just as Will attempted to prove himself to the internet. These are just two imperfect cultures. Suddenly the drums are released from the track and Kendrick's fifth deep fake is that of Kobe Bryant's after he says the lines. Consciousness is synchronized and crystal clear. Euphoria is glorified and made his. Kobe is known for his Mamba mentality, which is a philosophy around beating the odds and honing in on your intense focus at all costs. It's clear that he was channeling his energy through these bars. Then Kendrick's lips desynchronize with the sound of the song. Consciousness is synchronized and crystal clear. This suggests that his consciousness is not as clear as he may let on. And at the same time, what might be crystal clear to Kendrick could be a clouded vision in someone else's eyes. Like he said in the beginning of the track. As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective. As Kendrick raps the lyrics, Everything is everything, this ain't coincidental. I woke up that morning with more heart to give you as I bleed through the speakers, feel my presence. Kendrick delivers a masterful eulogy for the last verse of the track, rapping through the late great Nipsey Hussle's perspective in a way that's like he's channeling him. Kendrick Lamar rapping about Nipsey's family, career, and impact on the culture almost feels spiritual and gives me chills every time I watch the video. To my brother, to my kids, I'm in heaven. To my mother, to my sis, I'm in heaven. 
to my father, to my wife, I'm serious, this is heaven. Kendrick then goes on to display Nip's legacy of philanthropy and love for the man who died too young to tell the story. This verse comes off as more of a metaphysical experience as Kendrick Deepfake starts to mimic Nip's movements and his aura overall. Then he delivers one of the most chilling lines on the track. And I can blame the hood the day that I was killed. You had to see it, that's the only way to feel. This line encapsulates the entire message that Kendrick was trying to get across from the song, and you could even say from the entire Heart series. The only way to feel, the only way to see these perspectives is through connection. The song blatantly displays the hard truth that life is all perspective. Kendrick ended the Heart Part 1 inspired by Nipsey. 12 years later on the Heart Part 5, he ends up channeling Nipsey for his fans and his family to give his last words. I want you.